Thomas was alone. Move back down here. And we'll hit play. So this is one of those interesting ones in terms of research. Oh, game, pick it up. Come on. Game capture. There we go. Um, sentence. Joystick button for I guess we'll have to figure out the That's loud. Okay, and mutes when I tap out of it. Love that. The program was a failure, people forget this. It was a massive flop. The coders start, uh, started adding name strings to the AI to joke. Thomas AT wasn't special, it was just an AI right place, right time. Thomas was alone. Oh come on! A weird first thought to have. Oh no! Oh come on! Ah, it's crashed. Wait. Okay, so I don't think we'll run that full screen again. Um, love that. Can't I can't do anything. <sighs> okay, right. Close itself. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay in the game. Alone. Okay, left, right, jump. A weird first thought to have. All right. Let me know how the audio is, or I'm I'm reticent to actually click out the game. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He's yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. All right, it is slightly loud. The music. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to. What's the word? Jump. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger. Whoops. Let's skip that a little bit. Too, too good. This all seemed a little dangerous. What? The world. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Which might or might not be important. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. 
it always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. <laughs> the world's testing everyone, my friend. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. He made another mental... I keep skipping it because I'm too good. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. <laughs> no amount of obsessive note-taking could combat that. list to consider over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation he'd become a pretty skilled jumper he was evolving he just wished he had someone to share it with there we go. he was evolving Submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told that fool this would happen. Overlapping scripts, more than one AI was bound to be spawned into an achievement at some point. Okay. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? <laughs> Who the hell did this skinny rectangle think he was? Also, like, why is this game so loud? Had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually. Not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but, you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. I've turned the music down and it appears to have got louder. Explain to me how that works. Okay. Like just, why are you so loud? Slightly better. Oh, it's a checkpoint, nice. I love that it's called Chris as well, makes me happy. Okay, this was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Uh -huh. was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. 
Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe if I do this. Ah. Oh wait, I know what to go. I know what to do. These are some big jumps. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. From the vaulting idiot. The next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. No. Blue, blue. John knew. He knew that this was his chance, a moment to shine. This was game day. <laughs> this was game day. Wait, how do I get? This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. These little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? John, Chris, and Tom all go on an adventure. It's all very northern. Oh gosh, keep going, keep going. This wouldn't do, said John. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. 
You can tell from the sympathetic expression you've practiced in the mirror all these years. Bye, Thomas. We. Oui. Thomas, I need your help. So Thomas needs Chris's help. Oh, I see how it is, Tomo. Oh. Oh, okay. John. Back in the game, bud. Okay, hold on. There we go. Thomas needed John's help. Okay, the audio in this game is doing my Sweden. It's so loud and like it's not it's not even enjoyable. It's just wah, 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 wah. John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. It was important to his image. Um, I, I now can't actually get over them. We have to restart. <laughs> Whoops. John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Dang it. Okay, hold on. Alright, let's try this. Right. Definitely not how you're supposed to do it, but it works, so we'll do it. Thank you. 
Okay, there we go. We should be able to get Chris onto that now. Don't know how the heck I'm going to get him across, like. Hopefully the height differential will He help. didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Oof. Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumps. <laughs> no, missed it. He had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. immediately likable but his unpermitting <coughs> cynicism and tutting amused John his unpermitting cynicism and tutting amused John Keep going the wrong way. would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Goth to boss. So then I think... Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. He decided to keep them. Thanks, John, you Tory. All right, lovely. So, this was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Wait. What? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. Okay, so Claire can float, we like that. She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water. Which was her superpower. Oh, I suppose, okay, so I suppose really what I should have done was this. Get on my back, John. <laughs> Bung. All right. Fear not, my 
my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. <laughs> Claire was rubbish. Claire arrived just in time. It was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Alright, so we, got, we have to use a bit of momentum there, like that. Oh, okay. Oh. We're floating. We're floating, I see. As the water began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. <laughs> nice. Go, Claire. Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good sidekick. Or was she more the lone Avenger type? Mm, she's like that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and... Conveniently placed pools of toxic water. Completely conveniently placed pools of toxic water. Well, you know, we've all been there. Alright, okay, so John, you want to be moving over here. Claire, jump on Chris. Then we'll move you over there. Claire, jump up there for me. Oh, Chris, what about you, though? Can you get Chris? Can you make it on? Okay, you can. Oh boy. The others told Claire that staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. Okay, wow, well, she really can't clear that. Come on, Joan! No, John. John, no. There we go. Claire probably needed a nemesis, a villain who would show their true colours at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris hmm. was the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough, and his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Yes, Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. Listen, way to, way to attack me, all right? No. Yeah, we have to staircase it. Claire's downfall? If 
Claire was honest, and she had to be because she was a superhero. This was a troubling turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. <laughs> reasonably sized bodies of water? Oh. Okay, we have to take this with some care then. Okay, alright, so they will get yeeted if you do that. As I expected. Just kind of making it longer, I guess. We oh. no, not you, Claire. Come on. Moving platforms over water, eh? Claire's new wow. heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. Stream was booked out. Okay, that's a refresh. No worries. They were doing really well. Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was. Fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. Wow, John really can do it all as well. <laughs> yeah, a bit like getting over it. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know which came first, though. Um, spikes now? Claire was alone. Which was odd. Because she wasn't meant to be alone. She needed to be where there were rectangles to say. Oh, okay. We got, we got wreck. Being the only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. <laughs> defeats spikes. the object. That was new. Okay. Claire avoided them. Right. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. Not the rubbish red kryptonite, the, the actual radioactive green stuff. <gasps> Get water. Okay, so the introduction of spikes is uh, new. Alright. So this is going to get very V, 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 V. Because now we've got Thomas. And this time Thomas was here. Oh, pickle park, yeah, yeah. Something had gone I, see, wrong. I can see that as well. There was a disturbance in the force. Something had altered the matrix. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. It was plotting against them. <sighs> Claire finally had a nemesis. <laughs> Claire had a nemesis. The world. Right, let's plonk. Thomas, could you get out of the way, mate? Thank you. Alright, so we're gonna have to try and do this. Alright, let's get you to the checkpoint. Claire! Uh, hmm. I 
submarine. I guess that works. Just reset. Oh, Thomas! Oh, Thomas! No! Get this uh, checkpoint, bud. Okay, got a feeling we're going to be doing this again. Oh no. Okay. Oh, we got a new we got a new pal. Chris and Dave. Laura was pleased oh, Laura. was behind the wall. Maybe he'd never know what she could do. Maybe, maybe they could just have a conversation. Hang out. Hang out. As long as he didn't find out what she could do. Which would never happen, so long as they stayed separate. What does she do? I've got to know. Laura didn't have time to worry about the ominous pixel cloud. It had been following her for some time. And okay, so I'm guessing she kept get... itself to itself. Oh, she's bouncy. As the square, who had shyly introduced himself as Chris, bounced atop Laura. She began to worry that he was just using her like all the others had. They'd all bounce too, and then they disappeared when her back was turned. Well, that's freaking Only the dark. Only pixel cloud ever remains, looking a little bigger and a little less hungry with every disappearing friend. Oh, God. With every bounce, Laura found herself less and less irritated by Chris. She started to miss him when he wasn't there. On another platform or something. On another platform or something. Oh goodness. Um, hold on, are we going to get Laura? Okay. <laughs> Laura began to miss Chris when he was on another platform or something. I feel like the Stanley pa I, I haven't played the Stanley Parable, but I feel like enough people have mentioned it to me. Wherein um like people have referenced it in, in basically reference to any game that has narration. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, maybe I need to play this game. Um I don't even I th I might have it. I'm not actually sure. Oh, Chris. You, oh, Chris, you dingbat. I think I think I own it. I don't even know. Chris, I might be thinking of the Talos principle. She was perfect. He had to tell her so. At some point, okay. he would definitely tell her. Probably best to wait for a moment. The large, ominous pixel cloud wasn't about though. Yeah, probably best to wait. All right, I see what they're gonna do. Yeah, the large ominous pixel cloud. Oh, Chris, no! Okay, alright, so we really do have to make it across here. Alright, Chris, believe. Believe in the heart of the cards.
<laughs> Honestly, I think I think jumping across is gonna be easier. Like, bro, I play pre precision platformers. You know what I'm saying? He says. That kind of reminds me of Death Squared a little bit. Yeah, we played that. That's really fun. Actually, Bob, you might like that one. It's a really good, um, like, family-friendly puzzler on the Switch. Four players, I think. There we go. Chris was massively oh, you played it, nice. to run into the gang again. He'd enjoyed the alone time with his new girlfriend. Okay, okay, why is he just randomly deciding that he's a girlfriend? Let's uh, chill out. No, everyone's just bouncing on Laura. How rude. It was fun and then it immediately frustrating. Only if I say it out loud, he told himself. It definitely um, gets to a point where it's a bit, a bit annoying, I think. It's got the capacity for that for sure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where did the... Alright. Boop. Uh-oh, we might... Crap. We might need to rescue Chris. Yeah, uh, crap. John, can you get back? No, John can't get back. We've, we've, we've watched it. That's annoying. Chris was massively disappointed to run into the gang again. He'd enjoyed the alone time with his new girlfriend. If I say it out loud, he told himself, he didn't want to scare her off. Yeah, because Lassie's love it when you just refer to them as your girlfriend without having ever actually spoke to them. While perpetually bouncing on them. Defin definitely goes down well. The others seemed suspicious of Laura and the eager looking pixel cloud of death which seemed to be watching her. Sure, they'd use her inherent bounciness to reach slightly higher jump points, but they wouldn't strike up a conversation with her. Chris found them rude. Rude? And always there. <laughs> that is the worst type of person, though. Someone who is rude and always there, it's got to be said. There. Just giving Laura a lift, you know. Boop. Oh, boo to a goose. This is gonna require some. The others wouldn't have dropped it. Who's that cloud guy? Why is he following us? What's that rumbling, hungry sound he keeps making? Chris, can we just leave Laura behind? 
Uh, Lodge of Left. Don't leave Chris behind. This is gonna this is gonna require some effort. Right, John's fine. John's bossing it. It's 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 a it, it's Chris and Laura that I fear for. Oh come on. Given the block's name is an added level, I don't know every, um, every game needed. <laughs> Alright. Now let's see if I can sort it out with Chris and Laura in one go. I think we're okay. No, we're not. Oh, no, yeah, we should be. So when these come back together, I'm gonna bounce. Oh, no, Laura! As if she fell off. Like Laura Gale, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna use Laura to bounce Chris off. Get him up there. I'll do this actually. No, Chris! <sighs> we should still be okay. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we should be fine. Because I can do that, there we go. Now I'll do the same thing again here. Those damn Chris always causing trouble. Listen! Don't attack me like that, alright. It is, you are, you are factually correct though. Alright. Okay, bye Chris, see you later. <laughs> this is this is day taken possibly way longer than it should have, but I think we're good. There we go. Rude. Rude. Okay, so I think we need Chris on Thomas here. Oh, lads. We can move the right way, please. No, okay. New plan. We'll go stepwise. Oh, as if that moves, John. Hold some ground, John. There we go. Right, now we need 
Chris up there. Okay. And then Thomas. And John. Okay. Oh, wow. That's excellent. Very nice. Alright. Um, I don't know how we're going to get Laura across there, I'll be honest. I think we're going to have to like, try and yeet her and hope for the best. <laughs> oh gosh. It never ends. Okay, hold on. Kind of tiny, what we got there? Oh, Claire's back, lovely. Okay, sorry, sorry, Chris. Okay, water levels rising. Chris, you gotta do it. Laura liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. She liked having friends. He's sticking around too. Not like those losers from before. Those losers from before. All right, Laura, you get off, and you get on there, and Chris, you. Get on Thomas, there we go. Alright. Claire, you get in the water. Laura, you get on Claire. Ah, oh, Thomas. You meant to get you meant to stay on John, you buffoon. John, shimmy over. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. <sighs> Nearly wrecked. <laughs> okay, so, John, can you just do the business at this point? There we go. Did the job, I guess. All right, Thomas, don't get stuck there. I mean, oh, uh, and we dead. 
Okay, so this level ain't screwing about. I, I, I don't think I was far off there, though, to be fair. Laura liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. She liked her. Well, seemed to be sticking around, too. Not like those losers from before. Right, Laura on Claire. Uh, no. Um, no, no. So we want Thomas on John. Chris on. No, no. We bring Laura into here. We use Laura to jump Chris onto there. Let me put Laura on Claire. No! I just keep getting me freaking things messed up. Right, Chris. Right, Laura. Okay, go to John. Right. Okay, we're hacking it. Right, lovely. Now what we do here is we move Chris and John. Then we move Thomas. Then Chris over the switch. Thomas back to there. Chris to here. Then Thomas, we jump over Chris. Move this way. Move Thomas into that gap. Move Chris onto Thomas. Okay, he can't ma quite make that, but he shouldn't then die. Then what we do is... Uh, okay, we're going to have to jump on that switch. Do that with Thomas. I'll leave Chris on John. Off! Oh, off! Absolutely flip off. That was perfect. <laughs> Laura liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. These ones seem to be sticking around too. Not like those losers from before. Right. Maybe in this place. Maybe there. Alright, so we're gonna have to like because before I push the switch, I'll move Claire over. Arrgh, it's so frustrating, you know. Really, really just annoying. Right. You on there. John, move you onto here. Right, we'll move Thomas over so he's properly on. Move back to Chris.
Alright, sod it. Sod it. You know what? Sod it. Sod it. Sod it is what I say. Alright, all you is just stop it. Move over this way. Don't die, John. There we go. That easy. I have to say, I feel like this isn't as hard as like it's it's kind of making it be with just the switching person controls such a pain. Like it just feels like you're trying to cycle with in any way that makes it easier and it just doesn't really work. <laughs> 